Some call it the business of the 21st century. Many call it the recession-proof business. We call it direct selling. A distribution channel promoting self-employment. It's an industry that is growing steadily for the past 18 years, showing a double-digit growth over the last five years and will continue to grow at 20% year-on-year in India. Global revenue of the industry has marked over $154 billion in 2011. An industry called direct selling. In this new digital economy, obviously we have to look at being able to offer consumers a direct access to markets and this is what basically direct marketing does. This is a whole new business which has emerged in our country and Fiki is very proud to be part of it and, and promote this in the market. Call it referral marketing, word of mouth, one to one, whatever you call it, it's big business. Direct selling is the process by which products or services are marketed directly to the consumers, generally in their homes, on the phone, on the internet or anywhere apart from fixed retail locations. Direct selling is a unique business model where direct sellers have an opportunity of being an entrepreneur. And if you look at what is entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship is about identifying and valuing opportunity and the public at large. We are affiliated to the World Federation of Direct Selling Associations which is based in the US and was formed in 1978. Direct selling is one promising non-store retail selling format that has now become deep-rooted across the length and breadth of the country. Becoming a direct salesperson requires little or no capital, as no shop or staffs are needed. The Indian economy has been growing pretty substantially over the last couple of decades. And in spite of the <clears throat> recent slowdown in certain parts of the economy, uh, the consumption economy, particularly when it comes to fast-moving consumer goods, has actually seen a continued growth. For around 50 lakh distributors engaged in India who are part of this industry, business is booming and there is space for more. Direct sales, direct selling, direct marketing, whatever you want to call that, people are reaching to the consumer and making market closer to them. FIKI is in full support of direct selling industry which is growing at a rapid speed in India today. Direct selling industry started harnessing potential in 2009 while gathering speed in 2010, wherein it expanded its horizons in 2011 and finally beating the economic slowdown in 2012, notching up remarkable growth over the years. Direct selling begins to get a foothold in the country because we have shown, uh, not only in India, but we have shown elsewhere as well, that it has positive impacts. Small and medium enterprises, it has positive impact on you know, gender equity, it has positive impacts uh, on creation of employment. Out of the wide variety of products sold through the organized direct selling industry in India, products related to wellness contributed to the highest share of sales revenue, followed by beauty, color cosmetics and personal care. The main drivers of growth in this sector are high quality standards, brand name, reliability, durability, promotional measures and good demonstration of products. Among the other categories of products which have attracted the customers are home care and improvement products, consumer and household durables, food and beverage, insurance services, etc. The industry is ready to explode pertaining to its positive and robust growth as an alternative non-store retail distribution channel. The direct selling companies and their fellow distributors train and educate the distributors about the business. So anybody with any basic background of academics and education can embrace direct selling and be successful in this business. Indian Direct Selling Association is an autonomous, self-regulatory body for direct selling in India. The association acts as an interface between the industry and policy making bodies of the government facilitating the cause of direct selling industry in the country. Incorporated in 1996 and headquartered in Delhi, IDSA catalyzes changes 
by working closely with the government on policy issues, enhancing efficiency and ushering in desired credibility, clarity and confidence in direct selling. I have a huge group of uh, over 3,000 uh, women and I feel a sense of accomplishment since uh, you know we have touched so many lives, we've transformed so many women's lives and we've given them a, an opportunity to earn and to live, to dream and to live their dreams. Over the decade it has been noticed that in the direct selling business, women have been playing an active role. The share of women has always been more than 50% of direct selling distributor base in India. Today I have learned to manage my time, I can manage my finances, I can speak extempore. So I learned these multiple skills, you know, in direct selling industry. Providing for working from home on a part-time or full-time basis with minimal investment. There are a lot of women inside the house who are, who are educated enough, who wants to do some work and it was very convenient for me to bring them out of their house. Right now I have 350 uh, women you know, who are actually working under me and they are very successful too. Direct selling industry has been a major steering in the direction of women empowerment, encouraging them to develop themselves beyond the realm of domestic chores and become self-reliant. This is a wonderful industry because Aap wo sab kar sakte hain jo aap karna chahte hain. You can actually support your family, uh, you know, financially as well, emotionally as well, and actually you can, you know, give them all that you dream of. Direct selling is labor intensive, thus offering self-employment opportunities to a large number of people. In future, this sector will offer employment opportunities not only in urban areas but also in rural areas since direct sellers do not need highly specialized skills and hence it is an employment option for semi-skilled workers. मेरे जैसा normal person इस काम को कर सकता है तो easily हर कोई वो person कर सकता है जो जिसके सपने हैं और काम करना काम करने के लिए तैयार हैं क्योंकि direct selling एक ऐसा method है कि जिससे आप अपने हर वो सपने पूरे कर सकते हैं जो आप अपनी normal जिंदगी में पूरे करते हुए आपको दिक्कत आएगी। there's a sharp increase in the number of direct sellers due to financial independence, flexible timings, personal and business skills development and ability to take care of families. Hence, joining the direct selling industry seems to offer a viable self-employment opportunity. Now, this has emerged as a very large business in our country and we in FIKI are in the process of promoting this. Of course, we have to be very sure there is a legitimate end of this and there's possibly some fly-by-night types who may offer such kind of services to fool the people. So uh, we have to build awareness in, in, in this regard and make sure that it's only the right type of company selling the right type of products in a legitimate market. Direct selling has a huge potential in India. To harness this potential, we request to the government to come up with advocacy and to come up with a policy which is conducive to the growth of direct selling. There are several ministries, several rules, several guidelines controlling direct marketing and what FIKI is going to be working at and towards is ensuring that there is one set of guidelines, one set of rules, one set of systems and procedures to ensure that the regular players, the honest players actually grow and those people who misuse the system actually are kept out of the system. For almost a year now, FIKI Direct Selling Subgroup under the FMCG Committee has been working very closely with the government on getting a clarity on the regulations prevailing for this industry. IDSA has a lot of activities which we do. Number one being advocating with the government and various stakeholders on the advocacy and the policy formation for the direct sale industry. We also speak to consumers. We also do a lot of brand imaging and events through knowledge forums. Basically trying and telling the people the correct way of doing direct selling business and ensuring that one day direct selling becomes the most respected industry in India. To distinguish between genuine direct selling companies from fraudulent companies, direct selling associations in each country lay down a code of conduct and ethics for their member companies like cooling off period that permits the customer to withdraw the order within a specified time period. Customers are encouraged not to purchase product inventory in large amounts, unreasonably high entrance, training and promotional fees is prohibited. Direct sellers are prohibited from misrepresenting the actual or potential sales or earnings. Globally, countries like USA, UK, 
Malaysia, Singapore and Indonesia have streamlined regulations for this industry. Some of these focus on consumer protection, while others strive to identify fraudulent schemes. The big problem of the industry is that industry does not have a regulation. There is no regulator for the industry. The industry does not have a law. And therefore, the Price Cheat and Money Laundering Act tends to guide the industry. And, um, and the act does not distinguish between pyramid scheme and multi-level marketing and Ponzi schemes and all the other different types of schemes that are coming up. Some are legal, some are illegal. It's time that uh, we recognize at the policy level that direct selling indeed can have positive impacts on the community, on the people, on entrepreneurs and therefore to, uh, to separate the wheat from the chaff. IDSA along with uh, uh, the member companies is uh, working hard in terms of improving the regulatory framework within India so that uh, the, there can be environment which can be conducive for the direct selling companies to operate within India. The organized direct selling firms are liable to pay taxes to the exchequer from the revenue they generate during the fiscal. The total tax paid by the member companies in India increased to 27%. I would recommend direct selling to anybody who's willing to uh, be independent and have a good life. Uh, after all, it's as simple as just talking to a friend or just having a chat with someone you know. I can do the business sitting at home over the phone and on the computer and side by side I can help my children and my family. Direct selling industry will continue to flourish in view of economic revival. The future of the industry seems to be very promising as it provides an ideal platform for many to boost their earning capacity and improve their living standards.